Hello guys, so in today's video, we would be discussing about the vector class in Java. Okay, so what is vector and how to use this? So basically, vector class in Java implements a growable array of objects. Okay, similar to array list, vector also implements a dynamic array that can grow. That means it can grow as well as shrink in size. As in the diagram, you can see here that this is iterable interface, then collection interface, then list, and after that comes vector class as well as stack class. Stack also extends your vector class. Okay. So, in Java, as I told that vector and array list both work in the same way. So, how is vector different from array list? Basically, list interface. Uh, provides the same functionalities however there exist some differences that is the vector class is synchronized okay each individual operation that we perform in vectors is synchronized okay and this means that whenever we want to perform some operation on vectors the vector class automatically applies a lock to that operation okay that means whenever we want to put uh, do a particular operation or two or more successive operations are to be given to a processor for example let's say this is operation 1 and let us say this is operation 2 they are occurring simultaneously to a CPU let us say this is your CPU okay so now when we use vectors so since operation 1 is coming first so this is considered with a lock okay since this is considered with a lock, so it has the priority to go first into the CPU. Okay, and after that, this would come. Okay, so in this way, tempering or changing changes of data does not occur. But the disadvantage is that its efficiency decreases. Okay, so see, as I told before, it is because when one thread is accessing a vector and at the same time another thread tries to access it, an exception is called concurrent modification exception is generated. So, hence this continuous use of lock for each operation makes vector less efficient. Okay, so when if this is executing and this tries to get executed so there would be an exception that is concurrent modification exception would occur okay so this is how your vector works so now we would be moving on to our programming part so let's start with our programming so guys I have made a package with the name of vector and stack and a class that is vector program one so writing the main function okay so in order to use vector as i told that it is present in java.util so we use vector see java.util and it is type generic so i would be making integer okay new vector simple okay since it is similar to array so it would be having same elements because it is implementing the list interface so uh, we can use the method of vector dot add for example 22 okay so in order to print this vector we can do okay so this it is coming in this form in the angle brackets okay so we do we can also print with the use of iterator iterator and this type is integer is equal to vector dot iterator so it has a method of while itr dot has next it checks it returns a boolean value so we can do this itr dot next so we can access the vector elements oops 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 sorry it would be itr dot next not has next so now it would be printing 22 23 and 44 okay so since let me show you the declaration of vector class see vector implements the list 
a random access clonable as well as serializable and in maximum operations you would see that a vector is enclosed with a synchronized keyword see this is a synchronized keyword public synchronized that means putting a lock over to the vector see public synchronized void trim to size as well as another method for example ensure capacity also this is why the vector class is thread safe synchronization means basically deals with your thread safety okay it only allows one thread to process at one time okay so now we can also do for example vector integer v is equal to new vector p dot add uh, one p dot add two dot add four so we can also do that v dot add at element c zero one two at two the element would be three so uh, we can also do we can also use enhance for loop for printing this integer i in vector system dot i okay so to better understand okay see one two three four has been added to your list see three at index two since uh, one is at index zero two at index one since array list so array list how it works works like an array so but it is dynamic in size and we can also do a method called v dot add vector simple um, it would be add all yeah so now if we print this vector it would consist of all the elements including 22 23 and 20, 44 see 1 2 3 4 22 23 and 44 so in this way your vector class works so simple program for you all that is if you want to print uh, maximum maximum and min element from a vector so two methods first we would go with the name approach for example like since vector i would be using since in this i would be using first for meaning min element no let us say for max element is zero so we can use the name approach for example for integer i is equal to zero i is less than uh, we, we are seeing in this v dot size i plus plus so if max is less than v dot get element at position i so our max would be dot get i okay so in this way you can get the maximum see max 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 element is 44 and in in this way you can also get the minimum element but we do have a shortcut for this also we can also do there is a method in our collection interface collections dot max and we can see put here v it would also do 44 as well as we can also do collections dot min sorry collections dot min it would give us the minimum element see minimum element is our one okay so in this way your vector class works so i hope you all enjoyed this video got to know something better from this i hope your concepts got a bit better so if you if all that happened please give this video a like and thanks for watching